welcome again guys so the life cycle let me write life cycle life cycle of arbovirus now this arbovirus are transmitted through two uh, life cycle the first we call that salvatic and the other we call that <coughs> urban now in salvatic it is usually transmitted by mosquito toes and then mosquito it is transmitted from monkey and it is also transmitted from animals in this case uh, it is usually transmitted uh, by mosquito and mosquito uh, bite the human and usually the human which are usually uh, you know uh, present at urban area so uh, at urban area the mosquitoes are survive and they bite the human now once they bite the human so the viruses are replicated inside the human in the epithelial cells so after that they are replicated inside the epithelial cells it usually uh, replicated in the endothelial cells of the muscles joints uh, lymph nodes and fibroblast connective tissue tissue whenever these viruses are replicated in each area so they may cause the problems in each area as well okay now remember inside the blood we have whenever remember whenever we have virions inside the blood when we have virions 10 to power 8 mm inside the blood then remember these viruses are then transmitted to the brain area and from the brain area then it is transmitted to the liver and then to the muscle and finally they reach to the joints area where they cause the arthritis whenever we uh, treat the viruses in the previous video lecture if we talked if you guys remember we talked that we usually perform uh, we usually give different kinds of drugs for the treatment of this chikungunya disease and we also provide the vaccine now if we provide the vaccine so we have we have immunity activated and usually we have after one week when we have what we have the adoptive immunity activation activation okay moreover we have another immunity activated in this case we call that innate immunity remember innate immunity may be activated when this virus contact with the tlr toad like receptor which are usually found on the dendritic cell macrophages so when the virus contact with the tlr toad like receptor of the amino cells usually macrophages and dendritic cells then they will activate the innate immunity after that they will activate a cascade reaction cascade reactions and usually they activate uh, type 1 hypersensitivity also type 1 hypersensitivity now once the type 1 uh, hypersensitivity reaction is activated I already explained the hypersensitivity reaction okay and type 1 as well once it is activated so then they will activate the cyto uh, interferon cytokines are released interferon 
cytokines are released. Now this interferon cytokines once released they will activate a genes which usually code 300 proteins. Protein. And in this case usually we have a protein we call that MD88 proteins which is actually the host defense protein and once host defense proteins are activated so then the process are under the control control okay so after that we will protect it ourselves from the chikungunya disease okay so usually we talk the life cycle there are two life cycle salivatic life cycle and urban life cycle salivatic life cycle in this case it is present inside the mosquito from the mosquito it is transmitted to the monkey and then to the rodents in this case it is present inside the mosquito it is transmitted to the human and inside the human it is transmitted to the endothelial cells of what muscle joints lymph node and then it is transmitted to the fibroblast connective tissue as well okay that's all about the uh, life cycle of the arboviruses and sign and symptom of the arboviruses i hope you uh, get idea about the uh, chikungunya if there is any question or doubt in your mind so you can write it into a comment inshallah i will give you answer as soon as possible so like this video share these videos of the chikungunya virus uh, chikungunya disease with your friends and also subscribe the channel to get more interesting video lecture thank you so much